Hey guys, Steve here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Uh, tonight I'm publishing a book of patterns which are all the uh, alphabet with a blank that you can add your own name to. Now the book also has a set of these initials with the word family in here so you can use those but most people are going to want to add their family name to these initials that you can hang on your door or on the wall or whatever you want to do. So to do that we're going to use a program called Inkscape. It's free and it's not terribly difficult to use. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but just to add this name to this pattern is pretty simple, so I'm going to take you through the steps. You can get this program at www.inkscape.org. Download and install the program. It works on Mac and PC. Uh, the pattern book that I'm publishing tonight, uh, I will put if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put it in the description below. If you're reading this in my blog post, of course, you just go to the download button. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to create an initial with a, a name in it. So the first step after you get Inkscape installed and loaded is you go to File, Import. Then we are going to select the PDF that you downloaded. And the name of it is wallinitial.pdf. So just navigate to wherever you downloaded it to, and that'll open it up, open up this requester for the PDF import settings. Over here on the right of this requester, you see a picture of the title page. But we want to get to the letters, just the letter that we want to use. We don't want to import everything, just the one letter. So I'm going to go to page 32 because I know that happens to be the first page of the alphabet with the blanks in it. And now I'm just going to scroll over until we find the letter we want to use. Let's say the N. So I've scrolled over to page 45. I've got the N showing here on the page. I'm going to hit OK. That will import that particular letter into Inkscape. Now here's a step you have to follow that is not obvious and you won't see anything happen, but you have to do this to make it work. With it selected, in other words, you've got this bounding box around it, you're going to go up to Object and Ungroup. Nothing changed on the screen, but trust me, that's an important step. You have to do that, okay? Now we want to type in the name that we want to use to put in here. So over here on the left-hand side of the screen in the toolbar, you've got this uh, letter A. Click on that. Up here, you can select the font you want to use, and you'll have to, you know, re, you know, kind of test and find the font you want. Uh, and it's just the fonts that are installed on your computer, but you want a fairly bold font that's easy to cut. In this case, I'm going to use a font called Bookman Old Style. And the size of the font that I need is approximately 144 points. So I've got 144 selected right here. And you can type into that or you can hit this drop down box and change it. Click on the screen with your left mouse button. Make sure your caps lock is turned on so you get all capitals. We've got our name on the screen. In this case, we're going to use Nelson. We can use our left mouse button to grab that name and drag it over to where we need it to be. Get it roughly centered up. And you can see here that the name is both too short and too long to fit into our, name, into our letter. So over here on the right-hand side, grab this arrow and just push it to the left. On the left, grab the arrow, push it to the right. We're going to grab this top arrow and pull it up until it just overlaps our initial. Same thing on the bottom. Make sure it overlaps. Then we can zoom back out. We can hit this button up here to go full page. Okay, now we can click on Nelson. We can hold down the shift key and click on our letter and that makes sure both uh, objects are selected. We go up to Path, Union, and you can see we have the pattern ready to be printed out and then cut on our scroll saw. So pretty easy to do. Just follow these steps and uh, you'll be able to add any name that you like. I'm Steve Good. Thanks for being here with me at the Scroll Saw Workshop. We'll catch you next time.